Why did you save me? I have no wish to live. I hoped only to die nobly. Forgive me. These are dark times for our land. I fear I may have been in error. Every village I did not protect. I see it now. I was wrong. The only noble actions are selfless ones. Protecting the weak and innocent from chaos and malice. Yes, I see this now. Warrior, your example has taught me wisdom. I will protect our people to my last breath.
Warrior! Warrior! Listen to me. They say the Lord of the Beasts entered our land recently. They say he came holding a great gleaming sickle.
We are working hard to take back Chang'an, but we have more problems than just the monsters. Somehow the great emperor's clay soldiers have come to life. The mausoleum where they were buried is overrun. Soldiers aren't worse than the monsters. No, the problem is our gods fear them. They think somehow it's the spirit of the great emperor. Nonsense. Hail, champion. I only just arrived by boat back in my own land once again. Word has spread that you have traveled the whole length of the Silk Road, pursuing the Talking. The Talking arrived in this city not long ago but now seems to have mysteriously vanished. Many of our order are out looking for him, but he has yet to be found. Our scholars have been studying our most ancient scrolls to find out why the Telkin came here. It seems that the last Titan defeated in the Great War was not banished by the gods with his brethren, but was imprisoned here on Earth. And the texts say he is here in this region. Our greatest fear is that the Telkin has come to free him. If we are to have any chance of stopping the Telkin, you must journey to the mystical Jade Palace and speak with the Yellow Emperor. If he can be found, he will know the whereabouts of this Titan. Our scholars found passages of an epic poem that describe the Jade Palace as being on a white mountain. They believe the White Mountain is Mount Shiyun, located to the west, beyond the Jinghe Valley. It is said only the most worthy may visit the palace. Good luck. These are terrible times. Times of great woe to the living. And so it is we should hear about Nuwa, the mother of all mortals. Of clay she made us, after she made all the animals to fill the world so it would not be empty. And then, when the great monster Gong Gong broke the pillar that held the heavens aloft, it was Nuwa who set it right. When the four directions were scattered, she returned north to north and south the other way where it belongs. Her husband was Fuji, who taught mortals to be civilized and many other useful things. The great master Confucius taught us that the ritual and virtue would perfect the world. But what good are they when rough beasts burn our houses and storm our walls? Fine arms, firm armor, fit for the Emperor's guard. Fortune. Ah, warrior. What? True, there is the army. At first,
Ancient evil corrupted my terracotta warriors. You put this spirit to rest. Those who adhere to duty and righteousness shall be rewarded. The great master Confucius taught us that the ritual and virtue would perfect the world. But what good are they when rough beasts burn our houses and storm our walls? These are terrible times, times of great woe to the living. And so it is we should hear about Nuwa, the mother of all mortals. Of clay she made us, after she made all the animals. Sorry, these gates closed. There are too many monsters on the other side. This door is locked.
Once I was a powerful general, caught up in the illusion of life, then I was disgraced by my failure to stop the monsters. I resolved to come here to reflect upon my own nature, so I could truly learn theirs. Having no need for weapons or armor, I threw all I had deep into a cave near here.
lowest mage of great power lived by himself in the Jinghei Valley, not far from Shiyun. He used to visit us for news and rice on every new moon. But the moon has come and gone, and we haven't seen him. Some cry and curse against these monsters, but they too are part of the way. A wise man accepts, studies, and then fights without fear or desire. It is said that before the great sage Lao Tzu left his post at the Imperial Library, Confucius found him there, and they talked for many days. It is said Confucius learned more from the sage than all the books in the whole library. When Lao Tzu left, he rode west on his water buffalo. Far at the western gate, a guard stopped him. Before you go, great master, he pleaded, write down your teachings. you can help me. For ages my ancestors have been laid to rest in a cave hidden behind the falls along the Jinghei River. I used to go there with offerings, but when I last went, spirits turned against me. They struck one of their own family.